Good afternoon, traders. It is Monday, December 5th, 2016, and the U.S. stock market is closed. Well, two or three days ago, we had, I had the best trading day ever, uh, taking out over $95,000 in profits. Well, <laughs> you know, it doesn't last. And we just got raped today, really, really bad. Uh, and what's ironic is that it's on a day that the Dow made all-time record highs. Uh, you know, if you've been following my videos for a long time, you know that there was a time, oh, I don't know how many months ago it was, but... Uh, earlier on this year, I think, where the Dow was again making record highs and we just had a bad time of it. And that's not to say that this is terrible because uh, when you come off a day like we had two, three days ago, you can't complain too much, but it really hurt today. Uh, we have uh, the positions we had coming in, we had like six or seven positions. We closed out negative $7,000 on those. Well, that's not too bad, not too good either, but could live with that. What, where we really got uh, screwed was in what we got into. We got into 24 positions today. Only six of those 24 are positive, 18 are negative, and we are carrying negative uh, $23,000 going into tomorrow. And, you know, when you have 24 positions on, you know, it can get pretty bad uh, tomorrow if, if things get bad now knock on wood maybe maybe uh santa claus will show up early and we might get out you know i at this point i'd be happy just to get out with a twenty three thousand dollar loss what scares me is if this thing um gets a whole lot worse and we end up you know like on a forty thousand dollar loss or something like that which wouldn't take much to have that happen, you know, get into 24 positions and 18 are negative already. That's that's not good. The Dow, as I say, made all-time highs today. It actually ended up closing up 45 points, but it gapped up here and, like, you know, was way up here for the first two hours or so, and... That's this is the deadly pattern for us because what that's what happens is we get that's when we do all this buying up here and then the thing fades for the rest of the day even though it didn't go negative even though it's at record highs uh, we get faded off all these uh, new positions we got into and it just ends up being pretty darn horrible. Anyway, all I can say is, you know, we trade a system, and the system can be really spectacular on days, and other days it cannot be very good at all. It was not very good at all. This is the pattern we hate to see, the big up move right at the beginning of the day, followed by selling for the rest of the day, and we got really hacked in that. I'm going to show you four charts. I'm going to show you one stock that we did well in. And this was the only thing we did well in. This is AKS, AK Steel Holdings. And we had bought this on Friday, and then it did this nice gap up for us uh, this morning. And we got out with... Uh, forty-four hundred dollars in profits in AK Steel. 
that was really nice. But out of all those trades, both getting out and getting in, this was the only thing that really looked good. So I'm showing you the one um, diamond in the rough, and everything else was terrible. We did actually re-enter in AK Steel, and it did close a little bit profitable. So this this stock was fine, but everything else was terrible. I'll show you three of the terrible stuff we one of the problems we had today we you know we do have quite a, we we do invest quite a bit in gold and everything in gold uh fell apart today we bought this is uh nugget or n-u-g-t which is um gold the gold mining index uh the, the bull, gold mining index bull in other words, this is going to go up when gold goes up. We bought this on Friday, and then slam, we just got killed right on the open. That clipped us for $3,700. It went a little lower, but then look at this darn thing. It reversed after it got stopped us out, and actually up here, that trade would have been profitable if we'd hung on to it, because we don't hang on to it, but we, it's just one of those things where... Here we ended up buying near the high of the day, and then we end up selling near the whole low of today. Terrible trade, and this was repeated, I think, in JDST, if I remember. Anyway, very bad. And then, you know, our energy stocks did lousy too. This is DGAS, which is inverse natural gas. We had bought this on Friday, and then look at this huge gap. And that huge gap was very costly. That cost us about $7,000. Horrible. Just horrible. And then, if you think that's the most horrible, it wasn't the most horrible. The most horrible was the stock that we had done so fantastically in, I think, on Friday, if I recall. This is SGY which is stone energy, very volatile. And two days ago, we had bought this thing down here. It had gone way up, then it come way back, about $5,000, and then it pops up here. We took over $17,000 out of stone energy. It's just a spectacular trade. Unfortunately, this thing pushes up does another big push up today right at the beginning of the day whether stone energy is related to the Dow or not this kind of mirrors what the Dow did big push up at the beginning of the day it gets us in up here and then it fades and of course this is we we, we had 9,000 shares in this thing so that fade was very costly and we're down $9,000 in stone energy so you know yeah we took out seventeen thousand dollars on friday but when you give nine thousand back of it back today it kind of hurts however if you notice the this stock reverses itself from day to day and this thing might pop up tomorrow and might if we just get a little bit lucky in this um get out of this okay but of course that's not to say it can't reverse itself also. So, knock on wood. I just hope we get out of this okay. Anyway, really bad day. Trader Bob is not happy. But uh, I'll be back here tomorrow on Tuesday.